<clears throat> okay very good evening to one and all once again i'm here for day 5 and i welcome you all for this uh, day 5 session and in today's session we are going to talk about one more or two more new concepts or two more concepts of research proposal whenever you are there to write your research proposal uh, there are certain aspects and without those aspects research proposal is uh not possible or research proposal is not at all there so we have seen major aspects of research proposal and one more day to go to complete our workshop so in today's session we are going to talk about one more important aspects of research proposal and that is uh sample and sampling size or sampling and sample size is the topic actually so why the sample is important how the sample size is decided how to uh, go for sampling which method of sampling is uh, you know uh, uh, should be there for your research and number of questions are there and uh, when you are there to determine the sample for your or sample size for your research then there are a number of questions in the mind of researcher or as a researcher you have a number of questions in the mind so through this lecture whatever questions you have about those uh, about those samples and the sample size and uh, you know n number of things regarding samples those will be solved i hope so and this lecture will be helpful for you guys to answer all those questions so this is my you know expectations from myself and definitely i will try my level best to teach you how to go for sampling what methods of samplings are useful and uh, there are n number of methods of sampling out of those sampling methods which one is suitable for your research that i'm trying to tell you even after the lecture also you will be able to understand which sampling method is suitable for your research so in today's session we are going to talk about this important aspect and as i told you earlier without this particular sampling and sample size we cannot go for the research because this one is the base and your entire data will, will be collected on the basis of sample size decided by the researcher or you guys so uh, i'm starting with my presentation <clears throat> um before starting my presentation once again i request you all if you have some questions you put uh, your questions or you write your questions in chat box or when i finish i i finish with my <clears throat> presentation then you ask your questions because your questions are the most important aspects most important part for my improvement okay so here is our today's presentation is my screen visible <clears throat> yes yes sir okay. thank you very much i'm going to take it on presentation mode okay so this one is a introductory or this one is a topics which we have decided basically this one is a one topic but i have decided i have divided it into two parts first of all we are going to talk about uh, sampling so in sampling we are going to talk about the concept of sampling then we are going to talk about different methods of sampling and after that we are going to talk about sample selections how the samples are selected for the study as i told you whenever you want to start your study we decide the topic then we go for necessary aspects of that particular topic like uh, defining the statement of problem then we go for hypothesis then we go for you know uh, objectives then we decide the methodology which is applicable for our research even we go for uh, research design also but the most important part if you want to conduct your research uh we conduct our research means what we do we collect data information then uh, you know sometimes we go for uh, collecting reviews sometimes we go for collecting opinions from our targeted group of people and that particular targeted group of people coming under the category of sample or sample size so how that particular sam uh, sample size is decided so there is there are certain methods of deciding sample size or deciding sampling so that is the part of discussion today uh, i get back to marathi because people are there from marathi background so see uh, acha lecture madhe apan namuna niwad kiwa namuna size ka asavi 
क्या उन नमूना ची संख्या कितने आ सकेगी कि वह सैंपल साइज कितने आ सकेगी क्या गोष्टी बदल सकते हैं अपना हो जब वैसा अपने के तो टॉपिक नहीं उड़ते हो जब वैसा अपन ऐसे जगह का प्राइमरी गोष्टी है तब तक अपन करों ठीक हो उन खरातर आप ले कि अपन सैंपल साइज कैसी गए समझो मैं एकदा डेटा एकदा टॉपिक गए थे एंड टॉपिक माजा पूर्ण महाराष्ट्र कवर करते तो यह केस में दे व्हाट विल बी द सैंपल साइज फॉर माय रिसर्च दैट विल बी द क्वेश्चन इन द माइंड ऑफ एवरी रिसर्चर एंड डोज हु आर न्यू इन द फील्ड ऑफ रिसर्च दे मे फेस दिस प्रॉब्लम there are different methods of selecting samples and in the case of the sample, we will be able to do the sampling. How do you understand this? 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 Sample means what? Population means what? Universe means what? Then what? Then what is meant uh, by you know uh, even sampling sampling method universe population targeted people and number of concepts are concepts are here you know, if we understand those concepts automatically we'll be able to understand the process of sampling we'll be able to understand we will be able to determine the sample size and this is uh, a part of you know this one is an attempt to uh, guide you about the process of sampling about the sample selection about the sample size and all so I'm starting with my presentation. This that was one sort of you know introduction of sampling and sampling process and sample size. So I put this here. The basic my thing is that I want actual start with what is sampling. Your voice coming low. Okay, now it uh, it is okay. Yeah, no problem, sir. It's okay. So if it is not wrong, let me know. So here we are going to understand the concept of sample. As I told you, people go for study, they decide their area, they decide the scope of their study also. So sometimes they write in the title also, what is the scope, what is the area that they have covered uh, for their research. For example, if I have decided uh, the topic like this, suppose I have decided, suppose I have taken one uh, topic like this, uh, public finance schemes offered by state government of Maharashtra. This is my topic, for example. So when I want to go for this topic, definitely the area which is covered by my study is entire Maharashtra. So if I want to go for the study or the population of entire Maharashtra, it will take, you know, n number of months, n number of years to complete the study. So what I do, population, I'm going to tell you the concept of population, I'm going to tell you the concept of simple, sorry, sample. Uh, here through this example. So see, if I want to go for each and every district of Maharashtra and collect the information from those people, is it possible for me? No, not at all. It is not possible. It is not, you know, uh, what do we call it? Hey, we cannot think about it to go to each and every person and collect the data. So what I do, though the population of Maharashtra is, for, for example, 12 crores or whatever it is. So I'm not going to contact those people or the entire that particular, uh, the entire population of Maharashtra. So what I do, I select certain people from each district. For example, 100 people from each district. So there are 36 uh, districts in Maharashtra. So I select 36 into 100. So it, that is 3,600. So that is okay. That is possible. That is up to my, you know, uh, extent up to my, uh, what we call uh, efforts to contact with them and that way i can collect the data so instead of contacting with entire uh, instead of contacting to all the entire population i go and collect the data from selected people and the process of selecting people from the total population is called about sampling so here what i'm going to tell you sample sampling is the process of selecting observations a sample to provide an ad adequate description and inferences of the population. So see why it is selected. We are going to provide some description and inferences of the population. So listen, we are going to understand the concept of population. We are going to understand the uh, concept of sample. 
in a precise manner in next two three slides before that just i have given an idea if you look at the picture of population if you look at the picture of sample you can understand sampling mhanje dusra tisra kahi nasun jyavels apan ekada topic select karto ani tyacha area tharavto tyacha apan respondent tharavto asto samja mi ekada bank eta study ghetla suppose i have taken one study based on banking business or banking marketing policies of public sector and private sector banks so of uh, pune district so it is not possible for me also to contact each and every public sector and private sector banks in of of pune districts those which are located in pune districts so what i do i go for sampling i go for deciding the sample size for example there are 100 public sector banks and 100 private sector banks so i'm not going to contact to those 100 public sector banks and 100 private sector banks so i decide two banks from each talukas or each tahsils so this way i can do so population is a representation sorry sample is a representation of that entire population we are don banka ekada talukya madun ghet asel and the shambhar banka asel from the next level ki don public sector banka mi pratyek talukyatun ghenar don private sector banka mi pratyek talukyatun ghenar manje kay shambhar shambhar paiki samda akra talukye मैं चौदह तालुके चौदह तुम्हें अट्ठावी बैंक मैं प्राइवेट सेक्टर घेना चौदह अठा अठावी बैंक मैं पब्लिक सेक्टर घेना इट मीन फॉर दो ट्वेंटी एट पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग द एंटायर पॉप्युलेशन देर इज नो नोट नो नीड टू कॉन्टैक्ट द एंटायर पॉप्युलेशन देर इज नो नीड टू कॉन्टैक्ट हंड्रेड पर्सेंट पॉप्युलेशन देर इज नो नीड टू कॉन्टैक्ट हंड्रेड पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक और हंड्रेड प्राइवेट सेक्टर बैंक सो दिस वन इज जस्ट एन आइडिया हेच अर्थ अस है सगलीच जे रिस्पॉन्डंट है कॉन्टैक्ट करना नहीं एकूण रिस्पॉन्डंट पैकी अपन का लोकान सिलेक्ट करना है लोक प्रतिनिधित्व करना है तो दैट एंटायर पॉप्युले एंटायर नंबर टू हूम वी वॉन्ट वी वॉन्ट टू कॉन्टैक्ट एक्चुअली इज कॉल्ड एज पॉप्युलेशन एंड द सिलेक्टेड पीपल फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिक्युलर पॉप्युलेशन इज कॉल्ड एज सैम्पल एंड सैम्पल इज इम्पॉर्टंट बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू कॉन्टैक्ट द सैम्पल so this is the basic concept of sample we are going to see the entire concept of sample in the precise manner why sample sample is kya hai as i told you it is not possible to contact entire population this is what sample is selected ata samjha apan tharvalo ekada study karayche for example we have decided to conduct a study in college we are going to understand the intellectual or iq of the students of college uh, of college going students especially for arts we are going to conduct this kind of study So we are not going to contact each and every student of arts faculty. For example, how how we are going to decide the sample? For example, we have decided to go like this. Uh, we are going to take fifty uh, people from FY class. We are going to take fifty people from uh, SY and TY also. And if it is uh, the total population is six hundred, if we do this, we get some conclusion. We get some results. We get some outcomes. So we are not contacting six six hundred people here. We are contacting only one fifty people. and on the basis of uh, responses taken or collected from those 150 people we are going to write inferences we are going to write our outcomes we are going to write our results so that is called as what uh, results of the study which is made which is uh, written on the basis of samples responses and this sort sample is must and uh, and that is what sample is required in every study then sampling frame we are going to talk about this so this one is just an idea about the concept of sample a sampling in a brief manner now i'm going to talk about the concept of sampling then i'm going to uh, tell you how the sampling is decided and all if you look at the if you look at this particular slide you can understand the process of sampling the process of selecting a number of individuals for a study in such a way that the individuals represent the larger group from which they were selected so see sampling is what it is a process of selecting a desired number remember selecting a desired number which is required for your study from a group of people or from the entire population as i told you if the entire population of your study is 500 for example if you have decided to conduct a study on university teachers to me vidyapitatil shikshana varte ekada study karacha thalela hai टोटल विद्यापीठामध्ये पाचशे लोक प्रोफेसर म्हणून काम करतात किंवा असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर म्हणून काम करतात किंवा वेगवेगळ्या कॅटेगरी दोज आर द टीचर्स इन युनिव्हर्सिटी फॉर एक्झाम्पल सो यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू कॉन्टॅक्ट दोज फाईव्ह हंड्रेड पीपल्स ऍट अ टाइम टू कंडक्ट युअर स्टडी ऑर टू कम्प्लीट युअर स्टडी अँड दॅट इज नॉट पॉसिबल ऑल्सो इफ यू डू सो इट विल टेक ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम 
actually contacting 500 people is you know that much easy but we are taking an example this is what i'm telling you so what you have decided you have decided to take five people or five teachers from each department as for example if there are um, what do we call it 100 uh, 100 departments so you have you have decided to take and the number is 500 so if you have decided to take two people from each departments it means your sample size is 200 so you are not going to contact uh, with those 500 people you are going to contact with 200 people so this way you have reduced the population and you have taken your desired number of uh, respondent and when that particular thing is done it becomes sampling sampling manje dusra tisra kai nasun tumcha je kai ekun sankhya ahe jena tumhi contact karna apekshit ahe pan vele abavi kiwa apan manto na limitations abavi apan te karu shakat nahi manun apan sampling karto te apan kai karto sampling karto manje tyatla tharavik numbers gheto which is appropriate how it is appropriate i am going to tell you or how it will be decided uh, that number is appropriate that also we are going to discuss basically what we expect uh, 33% minimum this is the minimum number 33% of the total pop population is expected as a sample size this one is a standard expectation i am telling ekun lok sankhe cha kiwa ekun population cha kiwa ekun universe cha population is also called as universe listen and uh, note take note of this so see ekun population cha 33% manje 1/3 हे तुमचं सॅम्पल साईज असावं असं अपेक्षित आहे पण जर तुमचं पॉप्युलेशन किंवा तुमचं युनिव्हर्स असं लाखामध्ये असेल तर त्याच्यासाठी एक वेगळा नेम आहे दॅट आय एम गोइंग टू टेल यू सी सो हिअर सॅम्पलिंग इज नथिंग बट वॉट सिलेक्टिंग पीपल और गेटिंग डिझायर्ड नंबर फ्रॉम द पॉप्युलेशन फ्रॉम द युनिव्हर्स फॉर युअर स्टडी दॅट इज फॉर डेस सॅम्पलिंग ना लुक ॲट द सॅम्पलिंग इफ यू लुक ॲट दिस विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टँड एव्हरीथिंग सो सी larger to smaller here what what we are doing here larger to smaller suppose you have decided to go for one study based on marketing just take one example ek udaharan givet apan tumcha study marketing varti ahe kiwa tumcha study education varti ahe for example tumcha study ahe agudar education cha udaharan deto nanta marketing cha divet tumcha study ahe samjha prathamik shaletil mula महाराष्ट्रातील प्राथमिक शाळेतील मुलं असं तुमचं काहीतरी टायटल आहे प्राथमिक शाळेतील मुलं ते तुमचं टार्गेटेड पॉप्युलेशन दाखवत आहे हे जे आहे टार्गेटेड सगळी मुलं म्हणजे टार्गेटेड पॉप्युलेशन खरं तर तुम्ही त्यांना टार्गेट करणं अपेक्षित आहे पण तुमचा स्टडी तुम्ही फॉर एक्झाम्पल पुणे जिल्ह्याशी संबंधित ठेवलाय तर पुणे जिल्ह्यातील प्राथमिक शाळेतील मुलं हे तुमचं स्टडी पॉप्युलेशन झालं ओके हे तुमचं स्टडी पॉप्युलेशन झालं आणि त्यानंतर खाली छोटस असर केलंय ते म्हणजे मी लिस्ट सॅम्पल पुणे जिल्ह्यातील सगळ्याच प्राथमिक शाळेतील मुलांशी तुम्ही कॉन्टॅक्ट करू शकणार नाही म्हणून तुम्ही काय ठरवलंय पुणे जिल्ह्यात जे काही चौदा तालुके आहेत त्यातल्या चौदा तालुक्यातल्या शंभर शंभर मुलांशी तुम्ही कॉन्टॅक्ट करणार आहात म्हणजे एकूण चौदाशे मुलांशी तुम्ही कॉन्टॅक्ट करणार आहात दॅट इज युअर सॅम्पल सो दिस वे द सॅम्पलिंग इज डन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू थिंक अबाउट युअर टार्गेटेड पॉप्युलेशन देन थिंक अबाउट युअर स्टडी पॉप्युलेशन बिकॉज स्टडी इज रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू सर्टन एरिया सर्टन डिस्ट्रिक्ट सर्टन सिटीज अँड देन गो फॉर सॅम्पलिंग if you are able to decide your study population definitely will be able to decide your sample size the case that is uh, when you write your title restrict your study up to certain population up to certain areas for example with reference to pune district with reference to pune city with reference to primary school with reference to you know maharashtra with reference to india like this when you are going to write like that it shows your targeted population it shows your study population it shows your sample size and if you do so you will be able to uh, determine your sample size so by looking at this picture also you will be able to understand what is targeted population what is study population what is sample size and all so this way it will be done now the population the concept of population is like that we guys have started uh, it is same but in research we take a we take in a different manner actually we wanted to contact we want to contact or it is expected to contact them we are supposed to contact them but we are not able to contact them because of what large number population is always in large number because that is the entire you know respondents uh, to whom we are supposed to contact but it is not possible to contact them so this is what we go for sample size or uh, you know sampling so this is population now targeted population as we guys have decided as already i have shown you this one 
Now this one is the process of sampling. So how the process of sampling is there? Just look at the uh, this particular figure. Population is there. Then we go for sampling frame. Then we start sampling process. And from that particular process, we get our sample. When sample is ready with us, we collect data from them. We collect information from them. And on the basis of information collected from the sample or sample size or from the samples or sample data or sample number, we draw inferences. And when inferences are drawn, we write findings, suggestions, and conclusion. So this way it is done. So we need to understand sampling frame. We need to understand uh, sampling process. Then we need to understand actual sample size or sample, how it is you know, decided, determined, that we are going to see here in this particular uh, lecture. Then, OK, there are two types of samples, or there are two types of populations. Sorry, there are two types of sample uh, uh, populations. Don't prakar se universe ke don't prakar se population asu shakta. And uh, it is very common. And we know about these two concepts, but I think some things are, uh, some people are not aware with these two concepts. This is what these two pictures or these two images are taken. Look at this. Homogeneous sample or homogeneous population. Means they are in same nature. If you look at the pictures, we can understand what is homogeneous population and what is heterogeneous uh, population. I'm going to show you the uh, figure of heterogeneous after this. So if you look at this, we can understand they all are same. And when they all are same, it is called as homogeneous. This one is a you know, basic concept. There is no need to explain more. Uh, homogeneous lapan marathi madhi kaun to ek sar ke je apla universe asta ki wa apla jika hai contact tamal lo. Ek agency. Ek agency. Haan, ek agency pan population la kaim to apla marathi tila research for that I'm not getting. So, ek agency jika hai apla sadha gansa vargas to, prati sadha gansa vargas to. Homogeneous heterogeneous. Look at this. They are differ from each other. They are de uh, differ from each other. And if it is some uh, you know common things are there, if they are common, then we are going to reduce them. Heterogeneous upon gateway, colors. If you look at the colors, we are cutting yellow, purple, and red one. So they all are already here. And those uh, who are uh, unique and not common, those we are keeping here. So heterogeneous, they are different than each other. So color is the only you know parameter to identify whether they are different or same. So if we go for such kind of things, for example, upon us at all, ki upon the heterogeneous equal shikshikantabas. If we are going for Population which is heterogeneous population. We have decided to go for teacher study. And what is the base? For example, these are the number of teachers. Ashi numbers hai. Kashi numbers hai. Don prathamik shikshak hai. Teen madhyamik hai. Ani parts kaya unta apan tala. College teachers hai. Aapne loo comment hai vaichche. Tara apan kaya ke le paichche? Ek 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 thay ula paichche. Heterogeneous man jhe. Jhe double hai. Te kaadun taka. Jhe common hai. Te kutthe hoon jhe. This way it can be done. Then sampling design process. So this one, if you want to design the sampling for your study, this one is the process of designing the sample. First of all, define population. As I told you, targeted people or targeted a population. Define the population. Suppose your study is based on the information which will be collected from Maharashtrian people, for example. So Maharashtrian population is your population for the study. Then determine sampling frame. Then we are going to determine sampling frame, what frame we are using for the sampling purpose. Then determine sampling procedure. Whatever procedure that you want to apply for sampling or sample size, deciding the sample size, which is sample size, deciding the strategy, procedure to method So there are two types of sampling procedure or sampling methods. First one is probability sampling, and second one is non-probability sampling. So what is probability sampling? Probability sampling manja kai? Probability sampling manja as a sampling jecha madhe server sample size la server sample size la saman sandhi aste select hone chai. So there is a chance, there is a equal chance of getting selected while determining the sampling. For example, 
on probability sampling chap methods we are also we are going to see so i'm going to talk about the probability sampling for example there are 100 100 is the population for example 100 is the population and if you are going to apply probability sampling for that 100 population so those 100 people have equal chance to get selected they have equal chance to get selected kona sahi number सिलेक्ट हो शो कि प्रत्येका का चान्स बट इट इज नॉट गेरिंग नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर हंड्रेड पॉप्युलेशन हंड्रेड नंबर ऑफ पॉप्युलेशन एंड इफ यू आर अप्लाइंग नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग सो देर इज नो इक्वल चान्स फॉर दोज हंड्रेड पीपल बिकॉज इट इज डन ऑन सर्टन पैरामीटर्स इट इज डन ऑन पैरामीटर ऑफ कन्वीनियंस इट इज डन ऑन द पैरामीटर ऑफ जजमेंट इट इज डन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कोटा एंड वॉट इज स्नो बॉल आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू सो सी so there is no chance or there is no equal chance in case of probability sampling and in case of, sorry non probability sampling and in case of probability sampling there is a equal chance suppose we all are professors we all are professors and uh, college has decided to go for random sampling and they have decided uh, suppose they have decided to give award and now for giving award they are giving they are applying probability sampling and we all are eligible to get award so we all are have that equal chance to get award if they are applying probability sampling but if they go, go for non probability sampling we do not have enough or equal chance to get selected for the award how because they are going to give award by applying some parameters and in case of non probability chance uh, sampling there is no equal chance but in case of probability sampling there is uh, there is an equal chance for uh getting selected in the sampling sir, or sample like, size uh, hello sir like hello? Uh, e certificate will, will get all the students of this uh, <laughs> workshop <laughs> correct so all you all will get e certificates that is you know probability sampling because you all have that uh, you know equal chance of getting e certificates but i'm not going to give another example uh, it's okay so this is probability sampling and non probability sampling once the method is decided Then go for the determine appropriate sample size. Once you are able to apply the method of sampling, automatically you will get that particular sample size. And when it is there with you, when you get that particular number, which is called a sample, which is called as samples, which is called as sample size, then you start executing that sampling and start getting data, start collecting data. And once the data is collected, then you can go for analysis of data. इतली जी मेथड है प्रोसेस है ती प्रोसेस मी तुम्हाला तुम्हाला समजावून सांगतो इथं अगोदर तुमचं पॉप्युलेशन तुम्ही ठरवायचं की माझं हे एवढं पॉप्युलेशन असणार आहे एवढं युनिवर्स असणार आहे समजा तुमचा जो स्टडी आहे तो पुणे जिल्ह्याशी संबंधित आहे फक्त पुणे जिल्हा तर पुणे जिल्ह्यातील तुमचं जे काही टार्गेटेड लोक आहेत फॉर एक्झाम्पल तुम्ही कॉलेजला जाणाऱ्या मुलांवरती स्टडी करताय तर कॉलेजला जाणाऱ्या पुणे जिल्ह्यातील सर्व कॉलेजमधले मुलं हे तुमचं पॉप्युलेशन झालं त्यातलं एकही कॉलेज सुटणार नाही समझा पुणे जिले में शंबर कॉलेजेस है शंबर कॉलेजेस मे समा पांच हजार जे क्या पांच लाख मुल होती पांच लाख तुम पॉप्युलेशन लक्ष्य पांच लाख तुम पॉप्युलेशन तुम्हें अगर पॉप्युलेशन ठरवाये पांच लाख मुला तुम्हारा अभ्यास नहीं करा जो लोग पोचने शक्य नहीं नर फ्रेम ठरवा तुम्हें कस जा नर मेथड ठरवा एकदम मेथड ठरले कि तुम पॉप्युलेशन साइज ठरवा तुम्हारा कहीं चार्जे नर जर तुम्हारी साइज समझा पांचे मुल आ पूर्ण पुणे जिल once you get that once you get that, that particular number or magic figure of sample size then you can start your work of research but if you want to start your research work you should have sample size with you sample size nasal tumhi research shuru karu shakat nahi tar tumhala proper direction is milnar nahi kithe loka kadun data collect karaycha hai kuna kadun data collect karaycha hai that we don't know samjha tumhi ekad banking work study karta if you have decided to go for bank related uh, study So see, there are different types of sampling, or sampling can be done for sampling can be done according to the respondents. The respondent A can just ask nine. Some of my bank can study it. So I have to contact to the manager. I have to contact to the other bank employees. I have to contact to the account holders also. In account holder, there are different types of account holders. Some of the saving bank account holder is, recurring bank account holder is, bank can be cashier is, bank can be manager is. Have some kind of problem with data? Yes. So sampling. will be done according to the respondents so before going for the sampling you guys have to decide respondents prati sadak mhanto apan tela jase tumhala agodar tharvaycha tumhi kiti lok kadun maiti ghenar aat for example tin lok kadun ghenar aat tar tigancha vegla sampling hoy tigancha tumhala population shodhavi lagel 
कि समझा पुणे जिले कि मैनेजर्स है समझा पन्ना मैनेजर्स है तो तुम मैनेजर्स पॉप्युलेशन दैट इज युअर मैनेजर्स पॉप्युलेशन फॉर एक्जाम्पल हाउ मेनी कैशियर जाता इन पुणे डिस्ट्रिक्ट हंड्रेड सो हंड्रेड इज युअर मैनेजर सॉरी कैशियर्स पॉप्युलेशन एंड फॉर एक्जाम्पल अकाउंट होल्डर्स देर आर फाइव थाउजंड अकाउंट होल्डर्स इन पुणे डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो अकाउंट होल्डर्स पॉप्युलेशन इज वॉट फाइव थाउजंड and after that particular after getting that particular populations according to the respondents then you have to apply the method of sampling then you have to decide or you have to determine the exact number of uh, people which can be called as sample size for your that particular type of respondent manje manager se sample size vegli ho sakte tanantar cashier se sample size vegli aste ani account holder se sudha aste so this way you have to write If you are contacting three p uh, three five respondents at a time, so according to the respondents, you guys have to make a sample size. So, what type of sample size one will be? Getting my point by applying the method. Okay, so this is a sort of you know process of sampling or sampling design process. Now we are coming uh, here to understand different types of sampling methods. So first of all, we are going to talk about probability sampling. So I told you what is probability sampling. Probability sampling is what every uh, person which is there in the population means for that population there is an equal chance for each and every one to get uh, of getting selected. So this is what it is called as probability. So in probability sampling there are different methods of probability sampling. So out of those methods the first one is simple random sampling. साधी मैडम रैंडम लादृच्छिक बरबर ना हो सर ओ साधी यादृच्छिक नमुना निवड़ पद्धति व्हाइट इज कॉल्ड सिंपल रैंडम सो हियर सैम्पल आर सिलेक्टेड ऑन रैंडम बेसिस देर इज नो पर्टिक्युलर प्रोसेस एज सच देर इज नो यू नो यूनिक प्रोसेस एज सच टू डिसाइड दैम्पलैंडमली सैम्पल आर सिलेक्टेड फॉर एक्जाम्पल First of all, number one is selected. Then number seven will be selected. Number ten will be selected. Eleven will be selected. So there is no process of selecting sample. Samples will be selected randomly according to the desire of the research. Suppose I wanted to. Uh, suppose I want to contact ten uh, people from uh, Pune. So there are ten people in Pune. But uh, out of those ten, if I take one from Kothrud, if I take one from you know Deccan, if I take from one one from Siegat, so this way three people are selected. so there was no logic behind selecting the people it is selected on random basis and this is what it is called what simple random there is no logic simple means simple there is no issue so all subsets of the frame are given on an equal probability random numbers are generated uh, number generators numbers are generated randomly and those are the sample and if you do so it becomes random sampling and the number that we get according to the random sampling method which is called as sample size so here are some advantages and disadvantages are given uh, go through these advantages and disadvantages because uh, this theoretical information is not important for you guys to write your proposal just go through for your information these things are given then second method that is stratified random sampling this one is little bit you know uh, interesting but not difficult as such whatever sampling methods we are studying or which are there in sampling process all are simple just try to understand the meaning but whenever we are there to uh, determine the sampling we get little bit you know uh, now was we get little bit uh, we get into tension and because of that sort of tension of uh, uh, conceptual uh, understanding we are not able to make it clear so all methods are simple if you look at the name you can understand everything to so look at this stratified random sampling stratified means what here some groups are made whenever you are there to go for sampling whatever is your population whatever is your population whatever is your universe from those universe from that particular population groups are made on certain parameters you can use any parameter for parameters for making the group those groups can also called as strata strata means what nothing but groups nothing but uh, nothing but uh, a certain qualities on the basis of those qualities we make groups remember 
so stratified random sampling means what on the basis of certain groups or we go, sometimes we go for two groups sometimes we go for more than two groups also so it depend upon the nature of population that we have suppose i have decided to understand i am giving one example here suppose i have decided to go for one online strategies or online behavior of customers online behavior of customer and my population is 50000 people so in those 50000 people there are different categories of people for example there are some there are youngsters there are you know elders there are senior citizens there are you know um, again uh, if we go according to their age these are the categories if we go according to the income then there are some salaried people there are some uh, housewives there are some businessmen there are some n number of categories we can make so whatever category you feel that and i have to adjust my data in those categories so on the basis of categories on the basis of certain qualities on the basis of certain parameters groups are made apan kay karto je kay aapla population ahe ek tharavik analysis kade bagto for example tumcha study shaletil mula varti asel to tumhi kay karal prathamik shaletil mula madhyamik shaletil mula त्यानंतर पूर्व प्राथमिक मधली मुलं कॉलेज मधली मुलं असे तुम्ही ग्रुप्स करा दोज कॅन बी कॉल्ड एज स्ट्राटा दोज कॅन बी कॉल्ड एज ग्रुप्स अँड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दोज स्ट्राटा और ग्रुप्स सॅम्पलिंग इज डन इफ यू लुक ऍट दिस पिक्चर यू कॅन यूल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टँड एव्हरीथिंग सो सी लिस्ट ऑफ क्लायंट मीन्स वॉट लिस्ट ऑफ क्लायंट मीन्स वॉट एन्टायर पॉप्युलेशन युअर इन युनिवर्स ते तुमचं युनिवर्स झालं ते तुमचं पॉप्युलेशन झालं अँड फ्रॉम दोज क्लायंट यू आर मेकिंग स्ट्राटा युअर यू आर मेकिंग ग्रुप्स युअर so see first group we have made three groups here and people are selected from those groups in first group a number of people they have given they have shown in second group also n number of people they have shown in third group also they have shown n number of people and people are selected from those peer those particular uh, groups or those particular strata and whatever is the final number after considering those three strata or three groups that particular number is called as what uh, uh, sorry sample size तर या ग्रुप मधून आपण काही लोकांना सिलेक्ट करतो अँड त्याला म्हणायचं सॅम्पल साईज सो इफ वी गो फॉर स्ट्रॅटरीफाईड रँडम सॅम्पलिंग अशा पद्धतीने आपण तिथं सॅम्पलिंग करतो इट्स व्हेरी सिम्पल तसंच मी मला तुम्हाला एक उदाहरण दिलं ना की आपण समजा ऑनलाईन मार्केटिंग बिहेवियरची स्टडी करतोय तर यंगस्टर्स मधले तुम्ही वीस पर्सेंट काय म्हणजे फॉर एक्झाम्पल यंगस्टर्स कॅटेगरीमध्ये किती लोक आहेत समजा चार हजार लोक आहेत त्या तिथे तुम्ही दहा टक्के घेतले किंवा एक टक्का घेतला नंबर मोठ आहे पुन्हा एल्डर्स मधला समजा सहा हजार लोक आहेत त्यातले तुम्ही एक टक्का घेतला असं यू गाय हॅव डिसाइडेड यू हॅव मेड सम ग्रुप्स अँड अकॉर्डिंग टू द ग्रुप्स सॅम्पल साईज इज डिसाइडेड और सॅम्पल साईज इज डिटर्माइंड इट बिकम स्ट्रॅक्ट्रीफाईड रँडम सॅम्पलिंग नेक्स्ट वन हिअर आर सम ॲडव्हान्टेजेस अँड डिसअडव्हान्टेजेस ऑफ स्ट्रॅक्ट्रीफाईड रँडम सॅम्पलिंग इफ यू गो थ्रू दिस ॲडव्हान्टेजेस अँड डिसअडव्हान्टेजेस विल बी एबल टू मेक युअर कॉन्सेप्ट क्लिअर अँड इट विल बी यूजफुल फॉर यू गायज वेन इट कम्स टू थेरोटिकल एस्पेक्ट्स then cluster sampling again it is also simple and a uh, little bit similar to the first one which we we guys have seen so here clusters are made sub groups are made remember sub groups are made and on the basis of sub groups uh, we go for sampling the population is divided into sub groups clusters like families so see here they have shown they have shown a picture of city picture of cities for example Uh, so one city for for example this is pune city so we have made first section for singhagad road second section for sawgate third section for uh, uh, sada shipet and uh, fourth section for uh, deccan area so we people have taken some people from uh, singhagad road we people have taken some people from or some families from uh, sawgate some families from kothru road some families from sawgate and so on so this is this way we have made some clusters it means what uh, some uh, alleys are uh, taken together and from those alleys we have taken some families as our sample size so this way we go for clusters apan kay karto ekada gavatle vegle gallitli kay family select karto so ekada gavat for example char gallis asti to tesha madun apan panch panch families ghetle so if we go Uh, like this it becomes cluster apan cluster banu so actually cluster college concept ali baka parach vela apan asa aikto ki je autonomous hai amcha autonomous hai see apan kay karto cluster karto manje kay ekas sanshtetle je kay changle changle colleges hai tyanchya sathi ek aple level ek university banun ta 
दैट इज क्लस्टर युनिवर्सिटी क्लस्टर करते हैं एकत्रित आतो सो बाय यूजिंग सम पैरामीटर्स और बाय यूजिंग सम ग्रुप्स सो हियर ऑल्सो सेम थिंग इज एप्लिकेबल एक एरिया सर्व लोग घेनेपेक्षा अपन चार पांच एरिया मध्य ठराविक लोग एरिया जस इलेक्शन लगता प्रभाग प्रभाग के प्रभाग निवका घमेदवार दिल जता निवक होते एज गुड एज क्लस्टर सैम्पलिंग सो हियर सॉरी So here are some advantages and disadvantages of cluster sampling. If you go through this, you'll be able to understand. Uh, systematic random sampling. Here we go for systematic. As name reflects everything. If you look at the name, you get entire idea about this sampling method. How systematic? Systematic means what? Everything is everything is in a systematic manner. Uh, if you look at the first one, that was random sampling. Logic was not there. Then we guys have seen stratified. so there was some sort of logic then before that uh, we guys have seen cluster one and uh, now we are talking about systematic so here system uh, one particular process is followed one particular logic is followed if you look at the picture you can understand what logic is followed can you tell me what logic they have followed here in this picture for example sangu shakal ka systematic apan dela ka anto madam marathi mede kay mana systematic la tantra shuddha third person third correct every third person is selected for uh, selected as sample correct so we can apply this kind of logic not every third person sometimes it may be every second person every fifth person or uh, this way we can go for this so there is a selection is based on But, certain <coughs> yeah. hello sir it constant rahat na pan ata let's say ki every third person केस एवरी थर्ड पर्सन कंटिन्यू टेक सिलेक्ट करना सैम्पल का सो देर इज वन सर्टन लॉजिक बिहाइंड सिलेक्टिंग द पीपल एंड इट इज वॉट इट इज फॉर सिस्टमैटिक वन पर्टिक्युलर सिस्टम इज फॉलो एक विशिष्ट प्रोसिजर कि सीस्टम फॉलो कर प्रत्येक हेम चार नर जो कड़ा पांचवा 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 दावा पंद्रवा विसवा पंचवा लाइन दस Number fifth, number tenth, number fifteenth, number twentieth, like twentieth, like this. So we follow one particular process, and this particular process is called a systematic random sampling. <clears throat> Next one, and here are some advantages and disadvantages of uh, systematic random sampling. Now multi-stage sampling. Look at this multi-stage. We make stages according to the population. Remember, we make stages according to the population. and from from those stages we select sample but there is no uh, rule for selection remember for example from stage 1 if we do not take anything else accept it from second stage if we take two numbers if we take one number from third if we take five numbers from six it is up to the researcher to take the numbers from those stages the stages modun kiti number ghyaycha kiwa ghyaycha ka nahi ghyaycha that is up to the researcher but stages are made Remember, stages are made. For example, upon the cut of the umbrella, just now I have given one example, and that example example was related to online marketing behavior. And for understanding online marketing behavior, we have made stages. Stages like this, you know, youngsters, then elders, then citizen, uh, senior citizens, and then super senior citizens. These are the stages which are, we have made. Groups we have, sub groups we have made. But it is up to me if I am doing research. It is up to me. what number i have to take from youngsters what number i have to take it uh, take from um, uh, elders what number i have to take it from uh, uh, senior citizens and from super senior senior citizens there is no uh, you know uniformity as such while selecting the numbers it is up to the researcher to decide the number it may vary from stages to stages so this is called what multi stage sampling but stages are made to involve everyone but sometimes if i do not take from one stage it is not possible to get everybody's involvement in this particular sampling ya sampling madhe kay kelo tar stages tharal jata stages tharun ghetu apan researcher ani ta pratyek stage madhun apan ghena ta prayatna karto pan ghetlach pahije asa kay nahi kadachit apan pahile stage madhun ek number ghiu dusre stage madhun apan 10 number ghiu tisre stage madhun apan kahi ghiu ghenar nahi ashi hou shakto so this way we decide we uh, no determine the desired number of sample size समझा अपन ठरवल कि सैम्पल साइज पन्ना एकशे पन्ना दोन से पन्ना अपने क्या स्टेजेस है दा 
तर आपण असं करू शकतो पहिल्या पाच मधून सुद्धा ते कम्प्लीट करू शकतो बाकीच्या पाच मधून नाही करणार पण असं नाही जनरली करत आपण वी ट्राय टू गो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू लास्ट अँड वी ट्राय टू इन्वॉल्व इच अँड एव्हरी वन समटाइम्स वी इग्नोर ऑन सर्टन रिझन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सर्टन रिझन सो दिस इज कॉल्ड अबाउट मल्टी स्टेज सॅम्पलिंग सर सर एक विचारायचं होतं आता आपण क्लस्टर सॅम्पलिंग मध्ये सेक्शन वन म्हणून एक आपण हडपसर एरिया घेतला सिंहगड रोड घेतला ठीक आहे ह्याच्यामध्ये आपण ह्याच्यामध्ये मल्टी स्टेज मध्ये हडपसर एरिया मधून आपण एरिया काढू आपण त्याच्यामध्ये अपेक्षित आहे हा म्हणजे हडप सपोज तिथं सदाशिव पेठ असेल किंवा सोय सोय दोन तीन सॅम्पल तिथनं फक्त घेऊ स्टँडर्ड असं ठरवणार नाही प्रत्येक वेळेस सिंहगड रोडला आपण एकच सॅम्पल घेऊ त्यातला कुठला कोणसा ग्रुप असेल तरी असंच करू शकतो सर वी विल टेक युअर क्वेश्चन ऍट द एंड लेट मी फिनिश विथ माय प्रेझेंटेशन फर्स्ट डेफिनेटली एव्हरीबडीज क्वेश्चन एव्हरीबडीज क्वेश्चन विल बी अन्सर्ड विदाऊट फेल अँड इट्स माय ड्युटी टू अन्सर युअर क्वेश्चन सो हिअर देर आर सर्टन ॲडव्हान्टेजेस अँड डिसएडव्हान्टेजेस ऑफ मल्टी स्टेज सॅम्पलिंग now we are moving on second type of sampling that is non probability samples or sampling as i told you here there is no chance for each and every samples to get selected remember probability there was equal chance but here there is no equal chance and this lot it is called as non probability samples or samples so this is what uh, i have written some statements regarding this the probability of each case being selected from the total population is not known we are not aware we are not aware the, the percentage of getting selected but they are selected on certain parameters remember units of the sample are chosen on the basis of personal judgment of convenience they apply some parameters sometimes they go for their personal judgment sometimes they go for convenience see uh, suppose university of pune has decided to take teachers from teachers for question paper setting for example i will give you one example here so they have decided to take teachers from pune or around pune and uh, now they have decided to go for non probability sampling while uh, you know selecting the teachers so what they thought they have thought about convenience so instead of calling people uh, around pune which are not uh, you know staying or residing in pune they thought to call only those who are residing in pune so that is called as a convenience based sampling so we are eligible to set question papers they have but they are not called so equal chance is not here because they have used one parameter and parameter was what convenience parameter was what convenience they thought they think about their convenience they want to complete the task as early as possible and this is what they uh, you know called only uh, pune those people those who are residing in pune so this is called about convenience and here they have used one parameters and sampling is done like this so this is called about non probability so equal chance is not here for every sample to get selected then there are no statistical techniques of measuring random sampling error in non probability samples so statistical techniques are uh, not useful especially in case of uh, non uh, probability sampling samples or samplings now here are some methods of non probability samplings or samples convenience sampling quota sampling judgmental sampling snowball sampling and self selection sampling we are going to see all these methods now when it comes to convenience i have given the example of convenience it is based on certain parameter certain you know factors that that researcher thinks at the time of selecting the samples so you know uh, even i have seen one things um, when i go through the proposals of researchers most of the researchers they write when it comes to uh, sampling method in your proposal you have to write one thing which sample sampling method you have selected for your study and you have to give the justification for that also why it is selected so most of the researchers they write they have selected or researcher has selected convenient random sampling method for the study and it is accepted no doubt why they write because see it is not easy to conduct the research and on the basis of convenience we go for the research it is it was convenient for me to collect or uh, to select the samples from pune city instead of selecting samples uh, out of pune city so it shows convenience 
and uh, people they are writing like this nowadays and uh, in even university also they are accepting because they also know that life is not that much easy now and uh, we all are doing research meant for we have some our own limitations we have our family we have our job we have our job responsibilities family responsibilities all and this what they also accept the same things so here convenience sampling meant what we see our convenience we see a researcher will see his convenience in different uh, terms or in different sense आपण आपला कन्व्हिनियन्स वेगवेगळ्या प्रकारे बघू शकतो आपल्या कामाचा ताण असेल घरातला फॅमिलीचा ताण असेल किंवा इव्हन स्टडीचे काय लिमिटेशन असतात आपण त्याच्या बाहेर नाही जाऊ शकत ओके सो दिस इज वॉट कन्व्हिनियन्स सॅम्पलिंग इज डन अँड हिअर आर सम ऍडव्हान्टेजेस अँड द डिसएडव्हान्टेजेस ऑफ कन्व्हिनियन्स सॅम्पलिंग सी दिस मीन इज अ व्हेरी गुड वे टू अंडरस्टँड कन्व्हिनियन्स सॅम्पलिंग इफ यू गो इफ यू गो थ्रू दिस पर्टिक्युलर पिक्चर इफ यू ट्राय टू अंडरस्टँड दिस फिगर विच आय हॅव टेकन युअर look at this what that lady is contacting the sample and this is called as what convenience sampling and if you look at this you can understand the concept of convenience o khidki madunas ta samples la kiwa ta respondent la contact karte ki majhe kai prashn ait majhe research ki uttar dyal ka mhanun to bichar aplala dog ghun bahar karto ai tala shiral ghun gela ai karto so i'm looking at this picture we can understand what is convenience sampling next one quota sampling am i audible quota sampling is here quota sampling means for quotas are given sub groups are made the population is first segmented into mutually exclusive sub groups just as in stratified sampling this happens stratified la karto to na tasach strata are made quotas are made i think uh, this is uh, we can observe in admission procedure in admission procedure when we uh, sit for admission procedure when we sit for uh merit list there we observe this one quota for every category quota is given by the government or quota limit is decided by the government apan admission karta na pratyek category la visheshta professional courses la ha prakar asto ki ma aajkal sagalyas colleges madhe ha prakar suru hai tar they go for quota means for open category this much is the quota for example sc category this much is the quota and we select the people again in that quota there is a percentage of male and female so this is quota sample getting my point samjha 100 application aale asel tar apan kay karto merit nusar 10 muli 10 mulo kiwa tyacha pan percentage hai 33% for girls and 67% for boys so accordingly we allot the seats so this is like that same only we create sub groups like stratified samplings we create quotas and according to the, that we select samples and this particular uh, kind of thing is for allot quota sampling and there are some advantages and some advantages uh, disadvantages of uh, quota sampling please go through this at home judgmental sampling so this one is very important sampling is done on the basis of expert judgment see most of the time uh, it is done we guys have observed it is done in the process of interview you go you going to face in days to come tumhi ata face karnar aat for uh, for example there are five sets available under one guide now and uh, for those five sets 15 people are uh, eligible they all are there for the interview now out of those 15 they have to select only five so there is one expert panel and they will tell that these five guys are eligible so what basis they will make one judgment by looking at your performance they will make one statement or judgment and that will be called as expert judgment by going through your performance by going through your research proposal and on that basis on their judgment basis people will be selected for phd or further process of phd so this is judgmental sampling uh, very nice example and beyond this ejja paksha dusra kay changla asu shakat nahi so this is called as judgmental sampling so similarly in research also uh, if there is if you want to go for judgmental you can go for judgmental but uh, whenever you want to you know select the sample size for your uh, respondents apply some judgments apply some expert comments apply some you know judgmental technique to decide your sample size so this way judgmental sampling is done and now here are some advantages and disadvantages of judgmental sampling please go through this now snowball sampling this one is little bit name is different otherwise the procedure is same so see snowball sampling the research starts with a key person and introduce the next one to become a chain i think we guys have observed this one but in a different form i think we guys have gone through multi multi stage marketing 
आपण बऱ्याच वेळा ऐकतो बघा असं मल्टी स्टेट मार्केटिंग लोक आपल्या बोलवतात ते सांगतात तुम्ही तुमच्या अंडर एक माणूस घ्या त्याच्या अंडर जर एक माणूस होतो त्याचं तुम्हाला कमिशन मिळत जाईल इट इज लाईक द स्नो बॉल स्लॅम सॅम्पले और दिस वन इज अ व्हेरी गुड एक्झाम्पल एक सलमान खान की मूवी आहे जय हो इन दॅट मूवी ही टोल्ड दॅट तीन लोकांची मदत करणार उसको बोलो तीन लोकांची मदत करणार सो दिस इज फॉलोड मल्टी चेन मार्केटिंग और स्नोबॉल सॅम्पल तुम्ही एक सुरुवातीला निवडा नंतर तो प्रत्येकाचा आपला आपला खालचा एक एक निवडत जाईल दिस इज फॉलो अवट सॅम्पलिंग बट मोस्टली दिस सॅम्पलिंग इज नॉट युज फॉर रिसर्च प्रेफरेबली इन इंडिया वी गो फॉर प्रिव्हियस मेथड ऑफ सॅम्पलिंग अँड दिस वन इज नॉट नॅट मच पॉप्युलर इन इंडिया बिकॉज अगेन देर इज अ यु नो a uh, question of authenticity and the data that we collect from them uh, so next one is is uh, sorry self selection sampling self selection sampling is what it occurs when you allow each case usually individuals to identify their desire to take a part in the research so see there are 100 people and that 100 is or uh, that uh, number is your population so you are not going to do anything else you are just asking them who are interested to Uh, be a part of my research you are just asking one question to them tumcha paiki kiti lokanna ya research madhe bhag ghyala avde and out of those 100 if uh, 77 people are saying yes so 77 is your sample 77 is your sample size so this way this self selection sampling is done you are not selecting them they are getting uh, uh, selected themselves for the uh, process of research means they are getting they are giving their own contribution in the in the research as samples so this way this self sampling selection processes process is followed and uh, it's very simple to you know understand but uh, i think i have not seen someone uh, or some researchers those who have taken this method for their research in my you know this much short span of career so this one is the self selection sampling now moving on to the next one and the most important parts methods are over as we guys have seen two methods probability sampling and non probability sampling now we are going to see one more important aspect of uh, sampling that is sampling errors when we go for sampling there sometimes there is a chance of getting errors and uh, why those errors are occurred that also we are going to discuss errors which arise due to use of sampling surveys are known as sampling errors errors when we get in sampling process because of surveys because of some logic that we use at the time of selecting sample that is called as sampling errors basically there are two types of errors we face in sampling process and those two types of errors are biased errors apan ekada baddal ugi chas kadi kadi purvagra dushit asto tyachamule sudha error ho shakto samjha ekada manus khup changla sample manun aplyala labhu shakla asta pan we guys are you know we all are human beings we know our human tendency man sacha pravruti prakriti aplyala maithi asta ugi sa apun ekada man sa baddal purogra dushit asto ani kay aplya dokat vichar asta sampling karta sudha apun ugi sa ekada dokat vichar thevto so in research researcher should not be biased remember one thing researcher should not be biased he has to look at each and every samples open heartedly and open uh, by keeping his eyes open nehmi changla kaun to apun tala changla nazrene tumhala samples kade bagaycha अजिबात तुम्हाला त्याच्याबद्दल कुठलाही प्रिज्युडाइज माइंड ने जायचं नाही इवन इफ यू गो टू प्रिज्युडाइज माइंड और बायस्ड माइंड देन देर इज अ चान्स ऑफ गेटिंग एरर्स इन युअर सॅम्पलिंग देन अनबायस्ड एरर्स दॅट इज ऑकरिंग बिकॉज ऑफ रॅन्डम सॅम्पलिंग एरर्स ॲज वी ॲज आय टोल्ड यू सिम्पल रॅन्डम इफ वी आर अप्लाईंग इफ यू आर विजिंग युजिंग रॅन्डम सॅम्पलिंग मेथड दॅन देर इज नो लॉजिक इन रॅन्डम सॅम्पलिंग वी सिलेक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर ओन logic or our own desire so there is no logic and uh, when we do not apply certain set of type of logic then there is a possibility of getting errors so these are the two uh, types of errors that we face in sampling errors or sampling sorry sampling process or while deciding sampling or sample size so in uh, so this much for uh, sampling error and i hope we guys have seen the concepts regarding sampling then uh, we guys have seen different methods of sampling namuna nivad kasa karata ja vegla paddhati shikle apan don vishishta paddhati ahet tyacha under ja sab paddhati ahet sudha pahile ani sample error sudha apan ek hyacha madhe short madhe pahile now it comes to your research proposal 
आता तुम्ही रिसर्च प्रपोजल मध्ये कसं सॅम्पलिंग लिहा तर व्हॉट इज द बेस्ट फॉर डिसाइडिंग युअर सॅम्पल तुम्ही जे काय रिसर्च प्रपोजल करणार आहात व्हॉट एव्हर रिसर्च प्रपोजल इज देअर युअर माइंड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हॉट एव्हर प्रोसेस आय हॅव टोल्ड यू सो अप्लाय दिस प्रोसेस आय एम कमिंग बॅक टू दॅट पर्टिक्युलर स्लाईड वेअर हा सी नाव यू आर हिअर टू डिझाईन युअर सॅम्पलिंग so you have to follow this process whatever topic is there in your mind for that topic apply this process tumcha dokyat jo kai topic ahe ha topic tumhi apply kara whatever is your topic whether it is uh, from computer science whether it is, it is from management whether it is from commerce or education or economics forget about it just apply this process of sampling to your topic so for example my topic is related to uh management so there should be a title in my mind once the title is finalized once the title is clear in my mind then think about the population which is applicable for my management subject whatever it is whether it is management or education majya vishayala kiti population hai tumda mi kay manto apan tela maga cha topic getle konta um online buying behavior of customers with reference to pune city मला टॉपिक कळाला माझे बाउंड्रीज मला कळाल्या आय अंडरस्टूड माय बाउंड्रीज आय अंडरस्टूड माय लिमिटेशन माय लिमिटेशन इज वॉट आय डू नॉट क्रॉस पुणे सिटी इट्स व्हेरी सिम्पल स्कोप ऑन एंटायर पुणे सिटी सो एंटायर पुणे सिटीज पॉप्युलेशन दोज हु आर डिलिंग विथ ऑनलाईन बाईंग अँड सेलिंग ऍक्टिव्हिटीज दॅट दॅट पर्टिक्युलर नंबर इज माय पॉप्युलेशन ओके देन डिसाईड द सॅम्पलिंग फ्रेम देन डिसाईड द मेथड then decide the sample size it's very simple once you are able to find out a method for sampling then you will be able to find out the sample size now ata tumcha manamadhe dusra prashna asel ki evda sara sample cha methods hai there are n number of sampling methods probability under probability there are five under uh, non probability there are five so which one should be taken that is up to you tumhi tharvaycha tumhala vatte na ki mi certified ne jaava jaau shakta tumhala vatte na की रॅन्डम सिम्पल रॅन्डमली जावं मला ते बरं वाटतंय त्याच्यामध्ये काही जास्त लॉजिक नाही आहे किंवा जास्त काम नाही आहे मी जर सॅटिफाईडला गेलो तर मला स्ट्रॅटर्स बनावं लागतील ग्रुप्स बनावं लागतील मग त्याच्यामध्ये कॅटेगरीज करावं लागतील त्याच्यानंतर मला सिलेक्शन करावं लागेल सो ए सी वर्क इज दॅट बट इफ वेन इट कम्स टू ऑथेंटिकेशन इफ यू माय सजेशन इज दॅट दॅट यू गो फॉर यु नो नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सॅम्पलिंग दोज आर गुड बिकॉज देर आर सर्टन पॅरामीटर्स दॅट वी अप्लाय आपण म्हणतो ना दॅट इज देर आर सर्टन पॅरामीटर्स जसं की आपण म्हणतो ना की वेन वी वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर सिव्हिल सर्व्हिसेस देर आर सर्टन पॅरामीटर्स टू अपिअर फॉर दिव्हिल सर्व्हिसेस एक्झामिनेशन सो देर आर सर्टन पॅरामीटर्स सो माय सजेशन इज दॅट यू गो फॉर नॉन प्रॉबेबिलिटी सॅम्पलिंग बट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल दिस इज माय ऑब्झर्वेशन मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल दे गो फॉर प्रॉबेबिलिटी सॅम्पलिंग अँड मोस्टली दे गो फॉर सिम्पल रॅन्डम सॅम्पलिंग आय थिंक नाईन्टी पर्सेंट रिसर्च प्रपोजल्स आय हॅव सीन वेअर दे हॅव रिटन सिम्पल रॅन्डम सॅम्पलिंग method is applied or is used for selecting the sample by the researcher 90% researchers they wrote like that when i went through their proposal, research proposal this is my observation and uh, some of them they wrote stratified cluster even i have seen this kind of proposals also and uh, two three proposals i have gone through and those were based on judgmental sampling and uh, I, when i went uh, when i gone through their entire research actually those research uh, those uh, thesises i got from uh, one uh, gujarat university for assessment purpose or evaluation purpose so those two thesises were based on judgmental sampling so those were very good i am having their report also uh, when we make in future i'll show you the uh, you know comments uh, that uh, i wrote for their thesises it was fantastic so this way you guys have to go for sampling design process the sarvat mahatvachi goes there may be some questions from your end sir he thoda sa khup jad vatte ki ma khup heavy vatte ani he so jar karayla gelo tar amala jamel ka nahi jamel ka so simply do one thing to just go for simple random sampling and uh, right researcher has used for per, uh, for research purpose uh, proposal only yeah? i'm not suggesting this for a uh, final uh, submission of your proposal for rr committee for this interview purpose only if you are having that you know what we call it 
um, tension in the mind. So you go for simple random sampling if you want. Otherwise, uh, keep consulting me according to your topic. I will tell you which one is suitable for uh, your research title or research study. Uh, I hope you will keep consulting me in future also. So this is for sampling which we guys have seen today. Uh, we were at this particular slide and uh, after that I think nothing is left. This is from from this is from my end. Already it's 8:40. Now I'll stop sharing and we'll get back to home screen so that we can have questions. Okay. If you want to ask, if you want to ask some questions, you are free to ask your questions. Hello. Yes, yes, sir. Vijay, sir. तो माझा ही सैंपलिंग का समय तो माझा रिसर्च को है क्या ऐसा है कि क्राइटेरिया बात है मुझे इंडस्ट्री लोन लेने से बैंक के लिए क्राइटेरिया ऐसा है क्या अच्छा मतलब ही 